So today's video I want to talk about this new fragrance by Ariana Grande and it's actually the only perfume of hers that I own. I have smelled a few of the other ones and I've actually liked them all but I haven't purchased any of them. Um, and this was a blind buy but as you can see this is the Thank You Next perfume by Ariana Grande. It's not the nicest of bottles but that's just sort of like um, a perfume holder. You can actually take the perfume out and you're left with this pink bottle. So this is the 100ml one and I just think it's absolutely lovely. I really like it. It suits all ages. It's not what you would expect. Um, I would say from her other fragrances that I've smelled that Ari, her first one, is sort of very young. It's very sweet, fruity and for quite a young audience, I would say. The same with um, Sweet Like Candy, I think it's called. That's quite a young one. She has another one called Cloud, which was... I think it was the perfume before this one um, and that's quite a nice one but it's not my cup of tea. A lot of people like that and that's a unisex but this one, I read the notes, I watched a lot of videos where people said it was amazing and I had to try it for myself and it was on offer as well at the fragrance shop with 18% off. So check that out as well. Um, but. Yeah, a lot of people said that this smelled like coconut, like remind you of being on a holiday. Um, I'm just going to open it now and I will describe what it smells like to me. Okay. It's hard to do it with one hand. Just a second. Okay, so. To me, I'm wearing it today and just spray a bit more. I would say that it smells... There is some coconut, but it's not like an overly sweet coconut um, fragrance, which is what I don't think I'd like, because I've had one by Gwen Stefani before that was very coconut, and it made me feel sick after a while. Like, I actually hate it now, and this makes me feel ill if I ever smell that one. So there is a slight coconut, but it's not like, if you pick this up, you wouldn't kind of say it smells like coconut, um, because it's very subtle. To me, it reminds me of a subtle sort of lychee, um, fruity scent, but more on the lychee side rather than the typical scents. I think it's supposed to have pear, um, and the pear is quite... Um, a sweet pear in there as well and I just think that it's so like it's like quite a fresh yet sweet fragrance and I am all for sweet fragrances at the moment um, but if you like subtle sweet then I would say that this is a great perfume for you because it's not overly sweet it doesn't make you feel sick and it's not a childish smelling perfume to me um, and yeah definitely go to the shop and try it for yourself but I would say after smelling all of her perfumes I would definitely say that this one is her best perfume that she's done um, and I love that it's pink as well because pink is my favourite colour I just don't really like the bottle too much because it's like got a big, well not the bottle itself, but the packaging, the holder, um, it's got like a big plastic heart that's broken and that's not very nice, um, but it just smells absolutely amazing um, and I would definitely check it out for myself if you like the sound of the scents, have a look at them, smell the other ones. Um, it's slightly different to Cloud. I would say that this is sweeter um, and yeah, that's all for this video and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.